Hello, I'm Dr. Eckberg and we're going to talk about making mayonnaise. Why would you want to go through the trouble of making your mayonnaise? Well, first of all, it's not very hard. I have just made a video to show you how to do that, but uh, most store-bought mayonnaise is terrible. It is all made from soybean oil or canola. And the problem with mayonnaise is that it needs to be light in flavor. That's how people are used to it. And if you try to make it with olive oil, like extra virgin olive oil or healthy oil, then the, strong, the flavor just becomes way, way too strong. Most people can't tolerate that. And the store-bought mayonnaises are made with oil that has been bleached and processed and heated and degummed and deodorized. It's a dead, terrible, terrible oil. Uh, it's worse than, than empty calories. So I have a compromise. I use a slightly refined avocado oil. Uh, Costco has a great one. Uh, if you want to use extra virgin olive oil and you can tolerate that flavor, that's probably even better. It's not something that you want to eat by the truckload anyway, but once in a while if you want some mayonnaise, uh, make a good one. Again, we want to mention about omega-6s versus omega-3s. Avocado oil is an omega-3 oil because it's mostly, truly, a vegetable-derived oil. The store-bought are made from grains and beans and they are omega-6s. So in order to boost your omega-3s, you want to go through the trouble of making your own. There are some store-bought that are organic and egg-free and all of that, and if you're allergic to eggs, that might be something to look into. Uh, for the most part, they're not necessarily any better because they're still based on canola oil and other seed oils, uh, and they also get very, very expensive. So it only takes a couple of minutes to make a batch of mayonnaise. It keeps for a few weeks, and it is delicious plus you know exactly what goes into it. So stay tuned, check out the recipe. There's a video on how to make it. Uh, comment below the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for more information and more recipes. Thank you.